Alright. In the recently released Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, one of the coolest features would have to be the Nemesis system, which is two pronged. Every Uruk and Orc in the game is unique, and as such can develop personal vendettas against you if they happen to survive an encounter, or even if they kill you. They'll remember your previous fights and are stronger because of them, and in addition can offer up juicy tidbits on how to defeat some of their compatriots if you're able to interrogate them. Secondly, any of these lowly orcs can be promoted into Sauron's army and work their way up the food chain, and moreover, they can have disputes with other orcs independent of what you happen to be doing. Now that that's explained, what other games would be awesome with this system in place? With that in mind, I give you my top five games that would be better with the Nemesis system. Five. At number five is Assassin's Creed. Any of them, really. I know that it doesn't make 100% sense because you're supposed to be playing through memories as they originally happened, but adding this kind of dynamic element to the game would have only expanded on its greatness. Imagine, if you will, a more free-flowing game where if you failed an assassination mission, you didn't simply restart the mission, but were forced to hunt down the target at another location, a target that may be onto your tricks. Preparation for an assassination would be more important, and you might even be able to get information on a target from local NPCs that may know their habits, so you can plan your attack accordingly. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a better game to me. Four. Up next is one of my favorite franchises, Twisted Metal. Once again, this doesn't make sense entirely, but it also doesn't make sense that you're in a destruction death derby fighting to destroy opponents who somehow magically reappear every single battle despite you having just murdered them in the previous one. I think we can assume that something supernatural is at work, and we can also assume that the game would be more fun and less repetitive if your fellow competitors remembered you from battle to battle and adapted to your strategies. It would add another layer of depth and challenge to the game by forcing players to think out their strategies more carefully and keep some tricks up their sleeves. Also, simply watching rivalries develop between the characters would be really cool. Three. At number three is World of Warcraft. Want to know what is a grind? Raiding. And I guess, you know, MMOs in general. For those of you who have never raided before, it's a long, painstaking process by which you attempt a boss on repeat while trying to coordinate somewhere between 25 and 40 people to accomplish simple tasks like standing in the right place at the right time, all while dying repeatedly and trying to keep up with the absurd cost to repair all of your armor over and over again, as well as maintain a healthy amount of consumables. It can get pretty boring, especially when you keep dying in the same ways over and over again. Simultaneously, once you have the boss figured out, you tend to farm that boss endlessly for their loot and that becomes boring. Want to know what would make it not boring? If the raid bosses remembered your crew and adapted to your strategies. It would make the bosses more difficult to take down and farming them even more difficult. You'd really have a sense of accomplishment every time you down them, and it would make your sweet, sweet epics that much more rewarding. I know it doesn't make sense from a story standpoint, but seriously, they keep respawning, so I think we can assume that they can remember you murdering them. Coming in at the number two spot is Pokemon. This one seems obvious. Failing to defeat a gym leader or a rival Pokemon trainer would naturally make that trainer stronger, you'd think. Their Pokemon get more experience and they know what your arsenal is like. Also, if you did defeat them, perhaps you'd run into them later when they have different Pokemon and have had a chance to rethink their strategy and adapt to yours. It adds another layer to the game that is already awesome and would force you to switch up which Pokemon you were using even when fighting the same opponent, which would ultimately mean that you'd end up using more different types of Pokemon to complete the game. I don't know about you guys, but once I had a few certain Pokemon, I rarely switched, and being forced to do so would have probably introduced me to some Pokemon that I didn't even realize I loved using. What? Finally, at the number one spot is Grand Theft Auto 6 or something. Okay, basically I just want a Mafia game to develop using the Nemesis system, and Grand Theft Auto franchise seemed like a good candidate. Imagine working your way up the ladder of the Mafia, all while making a name for yourself amongst the game's many NPCs. There'd also probably be super interesting interactions, where no-name NPCs would try and take you out once you climb the ladder a bit in order to make a name for themselves. The mob also just seems like an organization that functions similar to the Uruk Society. People stab each other in the back, quite literally, and are constantly jockeying for position, power, and territory. Not only does it seem like the most natural fit, but also the coolest. Seriously, Rockstar, you guys should talk to Monolith about maybe borrowing their technology or something. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! Mm, asshole! That's gonna do it for my top five games that would be better with the Nemesis system. Be sure to comment or tweet me at Sohinky and let me know which games you think would be great as well. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching that guys, if you liked that then perhaps you'd also like my top 5 games that need multiplayer. Also you should check out our Honest trailer for Ocarina of Time, check that out.